Now we want to turn to the 2024 Olympics. It is less than a year away, and what better way to get ready for a summer of sports than talking to the champions themselves? Castor Semenya is a middle distance runner, two-time Olympic gold medalist, and three-time 800-meter champ hailing from South Africa. Though Castor is a celebrated athlete in her own right, her path to success hasn't always been a walk in the park. Semenya's memoir, The Race to Be Myself, gives a powerful account of her life before the Olympics, career and her inspiring journey to compete as a runner while being subjected to sex testing in order to compete. Castor dives into the making of a barrier-breaking champion and navigating what it means to be a woman in sports and competing on her own terms. And Castor Semenya joins us now. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Okay, so hyperandrogenism. Explain what that is and when you realize that you had this. Um, that's um, a DSD, if I may say. It's like you're a woman born with no uterus, uh, no vilopian tube. You don't have a cycle, no menstruation, and some have, you know, internal testicles. So <laughs> that's more of it. Do you remember the first time that you realized I'm different or you felt like someone made you feel different? <laughs> I've always felt different, I think, from young. As long as I remember age of five, I've always knew that I'm a different woman, but it comes with knowing who you are, what you stand for. And as a young girl, you know, I played around boys. My male cousins, you know, they've always embraced me, made me feel loved. They appreciated me, but they celebrated me because I was good in what I did. You write, I have resisted categorizations, and I want everyone to understand that despite my condition, even though I am built differently than other women, I am a woman. What did it feel like for you to have the public really questioning your womanhood? I think for me, it made me feel special because it means um, I exist. And for me, walking out there, people questioning me, criticizing me, judging me, it's like, hey, you're building me, you know, you're making me the best I am. But the only thing that I did is just to own myself, own my identity, knowing that, yes, I'm a woman, I'm different, I'm fast, I'm masculine, of course, I, I, I like being bold, and that don't make me less a woman, so, yeah. You're currently barred from running international events from the yes. 400 to miles unless you take a drug to reduce your testosterone. Yeah, but recently you actually had a, a court overturn that and yes. saying that that was discriminatory. So what does that mean for your standing now? For me, it's all about respect and it gives us hope as women in sports to say, we can fight for what is right. We are courageous enough to fight the injustice. I have a strong feeling that there is a gap that we need to close up and it gives us opportunity to go out there and, you know, argue those, you know, situations. So what do you say? I, uh, obviously, you, you've gotten a lot of backlash from critics who say, look, you have more testosterone and so you're going to be stronger, you're going to be faster. It's not fair uh, for <laughs> the, the women who you're competing against. High testosterone does not make one fast. It does not have any advantages because you, you gain advantage based on the training you put in. Everyone can tell me, even in education, if you study, you pass. So for me, testosterone is just a condition that comes with your genetics. We as women, we need to go out there, sit down, discuss, stand for one another. What do you want readers to, to take away who, who read this book? And, and why would you even encourage them to, to pick it up? What's in this book that could apply to everyone? I think this is about self-discovery, it's about self-love, having relationship with yourself, getting to understand yourself to a level that no other can understand you. I think it's, it's always important to put yourself first to say, am I happy with what I'm doing or am I going to focus on things that I cannot control? But for me, it has always been the case of I'm going to love myself, I'm going to put myself first. When I look at that mirror, I'm gonna be happy with what reflects there. And it has always been the drive of my life and I'll continue doing that. And I hope each and every individual will learn from this book. All right, Castor Semenya, we thank you so much for being here. Castor's book, The Race to Be Myself, is now available wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.